IT Pro asks, why is everyone fighting over end-to-end -end encryption? End-to-end -end encryption is a popular security standard that involves encrypting data being transmitted between two devices so that only the sender and receiver are able to view the message's contents. This places the communication in a vacuum, with encryption and decryption being handled by the user's device. This also means third parties are unable to access the message, including the service provider. It's considered to be one of the most secure methods for protecting data, with some of the most popular messaging services, including WhatsApp and Apple's iMessage, either having it already enabled by default or offering a way to switch it on. But not everyone is happy with the situation, and end-to-end -end encryption remains one of the most contentious issues in cybersecurity today. While many see end-to-end -end encryption as essential for maintaining a user's privacy and security online, others believe the inability for law enforcement to see what is being shared simply serves to hide criminal activity. The UK government has long maintained that because end-to-end -end encryption makes it impossible to track what content is being shared between users, it's therefore more difficult to protect vulnerable people from harm. It also says it makes it harder to protect children from inappropriate, harmful, or illegal content. The National Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Children has echoed similar concerns, arguing that end-to-end -end encryption often provides greater privacy to adults at the expense of safety for children. Even the EU seems to have reversed its stance on the issue, having once considered forcing all communication service providers to use end-to-end -end encryption, only to recently express a desire to ban the technology entirely. Each of these parties agree that a mechanism, or a backdoor, is needed to allow law enforcement agencies to bypass encryption at any given time, however, not everyone thinks this way. Critics have argued that any so-called backdoors in security are just as likely to be exploited by cyber criminals as they are to be used by law enforcement. This includes privacy campaigners who argue that end-to-end -end encryption is the only way to ensure users are free from unauthorized surveillance, either from the service provider, national governments, or cyber criminals. The Open Rights Group, Big Brother Watch, and Privacy International, as well as trade lobby groups like Tech UK, have all expressed support for end-to-end -end encryption. Specifically, they argue that the government unfairly conflates the problem of online child abuse with end-to-end -end encryption in a bid to gain wider public support. The Open Rights Group in particular has argued that the government's upcoming online safety bill already sets out adequate provisions for protecting children online. As a result, they claim that any attempts to scrap end-to-end -end encryption are not only unjustified, but entirely unnecessary. Fundamentally, it's unlikely we'll see a compromise that pleases either side anytime soon, largely because when it comes to end-to-end -to -end encryption, it's all or nothing. For more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to the IT Pro YouTube channel or visit us at our website.